Welcome back in our episode of NBA 2K12 on Dallas Maverick franchise. So now, as you can see, we're up against the Utah Jazz. And remember, no, that's me in Utah that was losing by one point. That was a hate comeback that when Jazz won it. My comeback as Al Jefferson hit the game winning shot and Devin Harris wants to go for the win and suddenly they block by Matt Barnes. And unfortunately, Mavericks lose again the road team and they're not losing Jamardi everywhere. But they only have two lose in February. But I'm gonna one to finish against Utah. I'm gonna stop in his own Lake City. Unlike the last meeting, we must stop this one out. Coach is ready to go. Bob is gonna go check out the playoff picture in the West. Utah is still currently the number seven. It might be if San Antonio will, will be get in the number seven or eight. We don't let Jazz are out. So this would be the last game for the last meeting as the only second half of the season. And now check out the, those navy blue schedule. We'll have the navy blue game. We're up against the Knicks. We're up against the Warriors. Not allowed. We're gonna use the Lakers. Are we use the white? Navy blue with the Hawks. White with the Miami Heat. White shirts for the Mavericks. So we're gonna use the North white shirts, not navy blue against the Hornets. Blazers use navy blue. White with the Ma Clippers. Navy blue against the Heat. And they're gonna use the white shirts against the Magic. We L Magic Lodge in Athena. So it's gonna be an interesting game. So. We're in the playoff right now. We'll check out the check. The Mavericks are down to the last. Let's check out down to the last 24 games of the season. So check out the right coach. They're ready to go. So now here we go. For this game, Mavericks gonna use the blue shirts and Utah Jazz gonna use the white shirts. And this is Andre Kenshin and let's get started and, and enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome to 2K Sports, Damon Bruce here. Welcome to Wednesday night here in the NBA. It's going to be the Dallas Mavericks up against Paul Millsap and the Utah Jazz. Let's head on out to Salt Lake City joining Kevin Harlan and the crew for tip-off. Thanks for tuning in for Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Troy Kellogg and Steve Kerr. For the season series between these two teams, the Jazz came away empty-handed in the last matchup against the Mavericks. And now they'll try to tie up the season series at two wins apiece. They've taken one game out of three so far. And overall, a very disappointing effort. They really didn't do anything well. They deserved their fate. Yeah, it was far less than a masterpiece, that's for sure, Steve. And here are the Mavericks starting five, courtesy of State Farm. Dirk Nowitzki and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Terry is out there with Devin Harris, and it's Carter in at the three. And for the Jams, Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson up front. Jeremy Lin is out there with Felton, and it's Barnes in at the three spot. Harris with it. Nowitzki for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Nowitzki's got the opening basket of the game for the man. Felton dishes to Jefferson. The jumper from the free throw line is good. The defense just couldn't get a hand in this case. Couldn't challenge the shot. Yeah, it made his high defense count that time. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Look, Kevin, the head coach for the Jazz gave me just a couple of moments to catch up with him. We talked about the task of taking on an offense with so much firepower, and he was excited for his team. He said, these are the games we need to get up for as a defense. It'll be a good chance to see what we need to do to keep improving on that end of the floor. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Well, Clark, that's a potent offense they're up against right now. They know it. You know, I wouldn't doubt that we see them make a few adjustments on the move over the course of the game, in the flow, making changes. Well, they're going to have to make some adjustments as the game goes along. This team is too dynamic offensively to deal with by playing one style. So the schemes, I think, will change according to how the game is good. And the shot is good. Great work. I mean, you have to decide as a defense. 
Just how much damage are we going to allow him to do? Fires the three. That's good for Harris on the assist by Carter. Six points for Devin Harris. Outside, Felton. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Three quarter. Devin Felton looks good. They get those three points back in a hurry, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. It didn't take a long while to respond. Wolinski gets to cut. Over Barnes and Dallas again with the ball. And they're on fire. They've made four straight shots to get this thing going. And here's Utah. Trailing by four. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And that was a case of, of shot block. Protection at the rim. So important in this game. And I thought that was the key in that one. Absolutely, Steve. I mean, the rejection committee showed up in full force for them this time. Jefferson. And again at Utah. Here's Terry. In the game against Detroit, very impressive. Chandler, the pass to Nowitzki. Shot's good. Nowitzki's got five points. Gotta be very careful with this team. They can be really strong inside if they get good position. Well, you give up that kind of good position, Steve. Uh, you're done. It's over. He doesn't need to fade away on that move. He can go straight up, make it an easier shot. Here's Harris. 17 points for him last game against Detroit. Carter for three. Good on the shot. Carter's got his second bucket of the night. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five groups, three have come off wide open three pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but it's not giving three pointers up in bunches here for trouble. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Harris gets to Nowitzki. Let's it go with a three. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Since the All-Star break, this group has been on fire. Here are the field goal percentage leaders for the season's second half. Dirk Nowitzki is second. In the third spot, Ms. Carter. How about these superb percentages, Kevin, from the floor for both of these players? I mean, they have put up outstanding numbers since the break. And I think it's a matter of concentration. They've really zeroed in on shooting the ball well and taking good shots. And now six of their last ten points from mid-range. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Jazz trail by four. It's thrown by Harris. Nowitzki right side. The dish to Howard. He feeds it to Fry. A three ball. Another three for Dallas. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this team. Giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up. Make him put it on the floor. Harris outside. And Nowitzki backs in. And Dallas again with the bucket. He did field goal percentage shooting to this point. They're really knocking down their shots. Yeah, a hot start offensively has them in full control here. They're in the driver's seat, no doubt. Levinsky against Jefferson. Feeds it to Lynn. Pass to Barnes. Takes a three. And again, it's the Jazz from D. Well, everyone seems to have a hot hand here early on. You know, if they keep up this scoring pace, we'll definitely see some big point totals from both of these teams. Harris gets to Nowitzki. Four seconds left. And good coming on the assist from Devin Harris. Harris has got four assists now tonight. Up in time. And get it to go. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Averett's ahead, leading by six. It was pretty impressive the way they moved the ball, made the extra pass, and found open shooters that whole quarter. Yeah, it's been a complete team effort out there. Uh, great to watch. Don't go away. Back in just a moment.
Coming up next Monday night, Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder go up against Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. Live from Chicago, be there. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Here is Lynn. He had 10 points in the win against Washington. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. We've got Shannon Fry, Stevenson out there with Terry, Clemens Howard, and Chandler in the first. Right on the money with that assist, guys. Great entry pass. Terry, that's a two. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Jazz trail by six. Outside, Phil. That's the three four. That's good. Phelps got six points. Oh, a recipe for disaster, Kevin, is letting him go back three near the basket. Now, here's Stevenson. He's covered by Felton. It's a look. And there's Jason Terry on the assist from Deshaun Stevenson. Terry's got four this quarter. Well, they've done a lot of their damage from mid-range here, guys. I mean, knocking down those shots with regularity. Yeah, how about eight of their last ten points, guys, coming off that mid-range area jump shot. So, shows you, you don't have to be at the rim to score. <laughs> Look how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assists. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. Millsap kicks to Felton. Beyond the other and again it's the Jazz. He's really not in the first quarter. But he found a way to step it up here. From past the arc, gets it to go. And the Mavericks lead by six. Now the thing you notice, you look at the stat sheet, they have a lot more assists. That's been a factor. Yeah, I like the fact they're moving the ball. Less ISOs, more ball movement, more player movement. It's a fun style to watch, commentate, and to play. Here is Lynn. Takes the three. And Felton again for three. Felton's got two. That's now six straight points on open threes. Get a hand up, fellas. Pay attention to the scouting report. Well, you know how quickly things can go south when you start giving up wide open looks to this team. And the Jazz call time here. I think Coach saw a couple of things you wanted to correct. You got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. So both teams changing it up here. Here now, the 2K leaderboard. Showing us the best passing teams in the NBA over the course of the last month. The Mavericks, number one. The last few weeks have shown these guys that being patient with your passing can earn you some easy looks and baskets. Excellent teamwork. The more you do it, the more you're rewarded, and it becomes contagious. Jefferson kicks to Chandler. Back in off the glass. Chandler's got his first bucket of the night. Now you have to love the vision to find the open man and get him the ball. Takes it up. That's good for Nowitzki on the assist by Carter. That's 12 points for Nowitzki. Here's against Fulton. The pass to ball. Chandler moving the ball well. And a foul going on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Heads up by preventing the easy lay. Yeah, I like that. I mean, he saw it was a free layup, didn't want to give that up. So he fouled him the fourth free throw. Here's Terry. He's got seven. Early shot attempt. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got three assists now in this one. It's stolen by Harris. Mavericks leading by six. Nowitzki outside. And now three for Dallas. And I think defensively you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one, he's been a handful. Now here's Chandler. 20 points for him last game against the Wizards in Washington. Very open up here. Felton's got 12 now in this quarter. Wow, this is simply an amazing performance he's putting on here. Chandler with the steal. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Here's Dallas. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. 
They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and on the offensive end, I thought all the pieces fit together almost perfectly for them. Well, I certainly got to agree with that, Steve. I mean, they were really working well together when they had the ball, and that's always a sign of a team that has good chemistry. Tries it from the top of the key. Again, the Jazz score. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. He's dialed in for long range. They've got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. Both teams deciding to change it up. Breaking the action, so right now let's take a look at how the standings are as we go out west in the Western Conference after half the season has been played. You look at Dallas. They're looking to lock up the best record of the conference and a number one seed come playoff time. And, of course, the Utah Jets just way behind. You know, right now for the Mavericks, they play terrific basketball this year. They haven't missed a beat after the success they had last season. Well, it's hard to find a team that matches up with them comfortably. Well, you're right, Clark. I mean, they would probably have the upper hand against almost any team in this league. I mean, they're, they're a very difficult matchup. They've got plenty of talent, and they're so well coached. But what I like is they play hard every single night. Here is Fernandez. Following the basket by Raymond Fernandez. That's good. Three pointers have been a huge problem for this defense. And yeah, they've been a day late and a dollar short. I mean, and it's costing them. You've got to get there soon. Well, with the defense recovering into the lane, you've got a wide open shooter at the three point line. And our Spike Slam Cam gives us another look. some entertainment value when you go with the windmill jam. Yeah, rim shaker and Steve a wrist break. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Barnes dishes to Millsap. Makes it off the glass. Millsap's got eight points. Oh, the body control. He goes up strong. No, this game knocks it down. Ooh, we Kevin. No. to extend their lead. Send them into halftime with momentum. And so that brings the first half to a close. And it's more NBA action coming your way here on 2K Sports. Hello and welcome to the HB Halftime Report. It's time to break down some Wednesday night hoops. For the Dallas Mavericks, they had the lead against the Jazz at Energy Solutions Arena. They've won their last six in a row and looking to keep it rolling along today. For Dirk Nowitzki, it's been too easy against Utah. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. And the Jazz, they're putting up a fight. Physicality taking over the game. They are muscling their way around the paint. Raymond Felton has been clicking through the first two. How's that for a shooting percentage? A hundred. Yes, 100% from the court. Not too bad. A couple guys right here you want to lead the charge for the teams as we move on to the second half. Let's start off with a look at what's on tap for later on tonight. The Bucks will face off against the Heat in Miami. A lot of people looking forward to that one. 7 p.m. Eastern tip time. And one game also on the docket. Over at Quicken Loans Arena, the Cavaliers will face off against the Thunder. Fans are all excited to get that one started. That one gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. And here's a look at the other NBA action around the league. For the Spurs, they'll be up against the Timberwolves out in Minnesota. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. Thanks so much for joining me at halftime. Send you back out to Kevin and the gang. The second half about to start here in just a few moments. Here is Lynn, Paul Millsap, and Al Jefferson up front. Jeremy Lynn is out there with Felt, and it's Barnes in at the small forward position. That's the group right now for Utah. Uh, we know he can run high work forward, but I like the way he's playing the ball. Excellent anticipation. As soon as that pass was in the air, he was on the move and picked it up. Well, he passed. <laughs> Great lob, great catch, perfect execution on the alley-oop. And... 
not just with any old fish either. The big stuff. Yeah, a little something for everybody, Kevin. Now Chandler defending. And here is Barnes. He's got five. And the shot is good. 19 points for him. Kevin, he's been a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Out to Harris. A three. And another three for Dallas. Guy's been an artist with that three-point shot. He sure has been, Steve. I mean, the majority of his points have come from out there. Keep going. Raymond Felton again. Felton has got 21 in the game. He's been producing all night. It's up to the rest of his team to start kicking in there. Nowitzki shots good. Now, the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this making shots. And that's what they've done. You're looking at the list of the NBA's top shooters from behind the arc for the past month. And you look at Nowitzki, second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. You know, it's really fascinating, Kevin, to think about how these guys are shooting the ball better from behind the arc than some players are shooting from the free throw line. I mean, that's saying something right there. Impressive. Another sniper. Oh, <laughs> from three-point land. Jazz trail by 12. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Utah Jazz. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. Then it'll be a home game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Hey, hey, that's that's right. Right. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Let's see what the Dallas Mavericks have coming up. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. The Mavericks making a switch here. Fries checked in. Ball! Ball! Poked away. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Risky pass there. They're lucky to retain possession this time. Here is Lynn, averaging nine points per contest. From about 19 feet, gets it to go. That's 10 straight points on mid-range jump shots. You know, to paraphrase a Bible verse that says, love covers over a multitude of sin, good shooting does the same thing in basketball. And still perfect here in the second half. Four for four from the field. Jazz drill by 12. And here's Felton from the arc. And the pass. Another three. Very productive game for him, but he's going to have to get some help from his teammates and they're going to win. Harris outside. The pointer hits the bucket. Harris has got six here in this quarter. Way too much time and space on that three. He'll make that one all the time. Well, it's a warm-up jumper, Steve, the kind that you could knock down still to this day. You're one of the best all-time three-pointers in the the NBA. But you got to at least run at a guy and try to challenge and distract the shot. Shoots. That's good for Nowitzki. On the assist by Carter. 25 points for Nowitzki. Boy, he's been so cool out there, composed, never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. Oh, here's Jefferson, averaging 22 points again, and the basket's good. Jefferson's got his third basket of the night right there. From the arc, that's good for Nowitzki on the assist by Harris. Harris has got assist number eight now on the night. Here's Barnes. That's good. And so Felton has the assist there. Barnes has got eight points. Carter with the three. Jazz trail by ten. Got a piece of. It's stolen by Harris. Trying to go big for the alley oop, but good defense got in the way. Stolen by Terry. Open look. Gets it to go. Carter's got four points now in the fourth. As soon as they force that turnover, they really attack the rim. I like that. Yeah, I agree with you. I thought that was the highlight of the sequence. Boy, that's a hard pass to make. You've got to lead your teammate absolutely perfectly. 
Another three, and we've just seen a barrage from long range here in the second half. Well, they have come out blazing, and defensively, it's hard to deny that shot. I mean, that's a lot of problem trouble when a team spreads you out like they do. He's putting the team on his back, trying to keep his team in this thing, and he's doing a pretty good job. Back to Harris. It's up a three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. It's called for the reach. That's foul number two for him. Both teams will make substitution. Substitution. Average on D. Passes it to Jefferson. Here's Wilkes. Barry's the long range jumper. Five points in the game. Beautiful pass there. Mavericks leading by 12. Carter for three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got five assists in the game. Felt the pass to Jefferson. Defended by Nowitzki. Jefferson gets the bucket. He's put on an offensive clinic. They've got to deny him the ball. And if that fails, then double him, Steve. I mean, they can't allow him to continue to hurt him like this. Here's Nowitzki. Again, the Mavericks score. The lift they've gotten from him today has been huge. I mean, he's been steady offensively and has helped them get out in front here so far. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, so far in this one, he's played a, a different role than normal. But, uh, you know, he's done a nice job as this team's playmaker here today. And all of it's worked for the most part. I mean, he might not be known as a dime dropper, but after this game, he will be. Mavericks lead by 15. This Friday night, Kevin Love and the Minnesota Timberwolves take on Ty Lawson and the Denver Nuggets. Make sure to catch it. Now let's check in with Doris Burke for our Sprite Spark of the Game. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the spark of the game with that big push we saw. It's been one-way traffic through the first three quarters of this game, and the lead could continue to grow in the fourth as they've shown no signs of letting up. Great stuff as always, Doris. Thank you, Clark. That was the game's critical point. Yeah, I agree with you. I really think it was. I mean, it really tipped things in their favor. No doubt about it. And that's going to happen to you when you keep piling up those points and you get on a run like that. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle is going with. Howard is out there with Chandler. Then it's Stevenson. Then it's Garrett Temple. And it's Dan Pierre in at the five down low. Yes. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The first one falls. Wilkes. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Stevenson. He dishes it to Chandler. No saps there. That's blocked. Jazz trail by 13. Stolen by Stevenson. Lobs it up there. Boy, how about the touch on that pass? Lobbed it up there nice and soft. Feathery. Yeah, looked like it made Steve for a pretty easy catch. Well, the pass may have been soft, but the dunk was anything but. Lynn kicks to Chandler. Come on, man, box him up! He's guarded by Howard. On the corner, Chandler shot good. Here's Stevenson. Back and down is Howard. Come on, come on. 
18 feet away, again, the Mavericks score. That time he found a gap in the defense to turn that one into a very easy jump shot, a warm-up jumper, if you will. And the Jazz call time here. He wants to make a few adjustments out there, and he's running through those with his team right now. So both teams making some changes here. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yeah, during that break, the head coach of the Jazz had some words for his team. He was far from happy in the huddle and asked his players, why are we not taking care of the basketball? Don't keep forcing passes where there's no lane. We are wasting possessions, and it has to stop. Mavericks leading by 13. And Nowitzki backs in. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. That's now 32 points for Nowitzki. He's done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. They just lost him on the break that time defensively. I mean, he slid out to the three-point line and had plenty of room. Here's Harris. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Novitsky's got his sixth assist on the night. Jazz trail by 15. And here's Hutton from the arc. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. He knocks down a three of his own. And even if he didn't, he just made it personal coming right back with a three of his own there. And they in and no time at all. 25 points for Vince Carter. This team just looking to run at every opportunity. Circles around them is what they're doing. And they're pushing the tempo and really enjoying an advantage there. For three, Felton gets it to go. Felton's got 38 points. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change playing. Wow, so good. On the run, knocking down that shot. That's tough. And the Jazz call time here. Paul Millsap's checked in for Utah. Jeremy Lin comes in for Rudy Fernandez. Then for the Mavericks. Channing Fries checked in for Chandler. And it's Terry in for Josh Howard. Here's Felton. Lin kicks to Jefferson. Guarded by Harris. Jefferson dishes to Barnes. Stolen by Carter. Man, with his five turnovers, it's really set his team back offensively. Harris misses. I'll tell you what, he's so strong inside that defense wasn't going to allow him to get to the rim without offering a bunch of resistance there. 132 left here in the fourth quarter. Makes the alley-oop pass, and they get in the way. It looked like the alley-oop attempt that time. He has not done a good job taking care of the ball here tonight. Four turnovers for him. Carter. Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got seven now in this quarter. Well, turnovers really becoming a key storyline in this one. Yep, another mistake at the other end. And once again, they're reaping the benefits. Here's Harris. They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, it gives themselves a little break, too. Catch the breath. Yeah. I think that may do it here. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. Well, just adding to the lead as we approach the final buzzer. Backing down is Jefferson. From about 19 feet, deflected by Nowitzki. Knows that pass to Jefferson. And here's Felton from the arc. And the Jazz another three. Another baby bottom smooth stroke there. I mean, that's perfect form he's showing at the three-point line. Outside Carter, another three for Dallas. Well, they've looked good here tonight, and now they are posting to the finish line. It ain't just a matter of time right now. But Trey and Felton again for three. Felton has got 46 points. Here's Harris. Nowitzki kicks to Carter. He kicks to Harris. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Here's Barnes. No luck. 
I think he caught a glimpse of the defender out of the corner of his eye because he just seemed to lose his focus there for a moment. Now he can put this one in the W call. He's locked up now. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they closed this game out exactly like they needed to. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Now it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Dirk Nowitzki.
All right, we enter the playoffs now and gets revenge after losing on last New Year of 2012. They losing by one point. Joe Smith ends the 18 year retire and no one's gonna happen there. So now the Mavericks are the first team to clinch the playoff bird. So it's first now in the hunt, but for some reason the Lakers lose. Again, I see the Lakers lose to the Blazers and still Utah in the hunt. Wow. Why did the Blazers win? I want the Lakers in. Why the Blazers? How did it something in? 37 8 by Greg Alden. 20 points by Aldridge, 29 by Randolph, 26 points by Kobe Bryant. And unfortunately, Lakers is not, still not losing it. So then check out the blue box score over the Utah, 46 points by Belton, 39 points by Dirk Nowitzki, Carter got 3 and 10, and Devin Harris got 23 and 10. Hawks beat the Kings and three players of 21 points, Smith, Arenas, and Augustine, alongside with Hans Brown and Alford. 21 points by Stucky. Thunder beat the Cavaliers, 52 points by Irving, 29 points by Jamison, 26 points by 11 assists with Curry McGetty, and 25 points by Kevin Durant, and he beat the box, 47 by Dwayne, 17 by Dwayne Wade, 20, 22 points by Monte Ellis, and both players Davis and James got 23 and 9. Suns beat the Nuggets, and despite Jerome Green's got 51 points, and they're not gonna get reaching not in the record break. Gurren Dragic got 25 and 20, 10 and 8 near triple double by Steve Nash. And finally, the Spurs beat the Timberwolves 28 and 12 by Kevin Love and 17 points time with Nanella Jernovli. 11 assists, so 11 rebounds. So, so how did the Lakers still not losing it? So, unfortunately, Utah will be remain the number 8 seed because of the result of the U Portland, actually, because of the result of the Lakers win. So unfortunately, why do I want the Lakers in the playoffs? I don't want to get out of Utah in a hunt, so you don't let Jazz in the playoffs. So don't don't let they lay out fingers. So unfortunately, that was nonsense. So now we head in March 7 against the New York Knicks. They have five NBA games and three NBA D leagues with the Bulls, Pistons, Wizards, Warriors, Rockets, Sixers, Raptors, Pacers, and hopefully if there's gonna be a showdown with the Spurs Lakers game. And they need to get something if the Grizzlies beat the Utah Jazz, need to help something. If the Grizzlies beat the Jazz, get in something. If the Lakers beat the Spurs, to get to get in the playoffs, to avoid with Dwight Howard and Kobe Bryant to keep them. Since it happened, the Lakers losing streak starts at 4-0. So this would be the chance to Dwight Howard. Paul Gasol, Ron Artest, and Kobe Bryant still in the roof and still in the lineup. Check out the playoff picture Miami, Milwaukee, New Jersey, Cleveland, Chicago, Indiana, Atlanta, and New York. And the hunt is Toronto, Orlando, and Boston. On the west, we got the Dallas, Phoenix, Memphis, OKC, Denver, Clippers, Spurs, and inside the Utah, and the Lakers as the Lakers in the hunt after. Stunning lose in 6 point against the Portland Trail Blazers. So, the great order still 37 points in the happen. Static's gonna check out the league leaders now. Kevin Martin and Dirk Nowitzki tied for the second. Tied for the first. Kevin Durant's got 33.3. Wade, Irving, and Brian is down to 6. Walker is up to 7. Kobe is up to 8. The corner is at number 9. Lou Williams somehow the number 10. Translation report, Tracy Evans have one year deal, Moon's got one year deal, McGinney one year deal, Hurry up, it looks like there's no one resigned yet. Sabre and Dada form sent down to Bayhawks, unfortunately. Award races still remains, Dirk Nowitzki, Carter, LeBron James, Devin Harris, and Dwayne Wade. So we're gonna check it, team records, no one to update since. Team records, no one updates since because there's happened. David Thompson has 73 points on April 9, 1978. No points in NCC. I didn't get record on 26 assists because of the tying record with Jason Kidd. So, fortunately, I did not get tied with Jason Kidd in assists with 25 assists on February 8, 1996. That was stupid. This happening. I cannot believe that.
Unfortunately, we're not gonna get the record passing. Let's check out the elite standings right there. Wizards, Skyforce, Armor still in the hunt, so Turtles still in the first in the West. Time to save the fouls. We're gonna have the next game where we'll Hopper Double Header heads to New York, heads back to home floor and Dallas. So that's it for do now. I'm going to do double header soon. We're up against Carmelo Anthony meet with Sean Miron Durante West of the Knicks. Thanks for watching and see all you later and now the Marrick is in the playoffs. Sign up and peace out. Goodbye.